White House columnist for the Hill, Niall Standage, is here right now. Niall, you got a big smile on your face as well as Tom when I said that. But, I mean, clearly uh, there is so much weighing on Americans' minds. And both Democrats and Republicans care about this issue. Uh, the Office of Management and Budget says U.S. funding for Ukraine runs out by the end of the year. So lawmakers want to actually get more money on the table before they go to break. So what are the odds that a deal is done by Thursday? I think it's difficult to imagine a deal being done in great detail. One of the things we're hearing from Capitol Hill right now, Adrian, is the possibility of a broad outline being agreed to so that people know that that aid is coming. Of course, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky coming here to Washington on Tuesday to try to make the case for more aid. The issue that you mentioned about the money is a very urgent one. Uh, the general estimate is that about 97% of the available funds for Ukraine have now been used. So it's really getting toward the, uh, toward the bottom of the piggy bank there. Yeah, I, I love that you compared it to a piggy bank. Um, but a lot of people uh, in Washington looking to these particular bullet points presented by Republicans. This is on the table, asylum standards. So actual standards for who is given asylum to be I guess, more uh, finitely described, because right now it just seems like a free-for-all. Humanitarian parole, which has been in play for a few countries, and also fast-tracking deportations, which the Biden administration actually started uh, this year for the nation of Venezuela. But can you break these down a little bit more for us? Yeah, sure. On the asylum question, one possibility, for example, would be to bar people who first go through a third country, leave their native country where they claim fear of persecution, go through some other country and arrive in the United States. And the question is, should those people be entitled to the same uh, freedom to claim asylum as people who just come directly to the US? So that's one issue. Expedited removal, the question is, uh, can that be expanded beyond its current circumstances? So now, typically, it is used for migrants who've been in the United States for two weeks or less and are still within 100 miles of the border. One point I'd just make quickly, Adrian, is that in all these issues, there is a question about how these uh, recommendations would stand up in the courts. Because even when the Biden administration has sought to impose tougher measures, several of those have already been blocked by the federal courts. Yes. Niall Stanage, we appreciate your time. Obviously, a very convoluted issue, but one that a lot of voters are going to be paying attention to, especially as we near 2024. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.